Hey guys, Twiggly Frog back again with another tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to make hidden lights. You can actually hide more than lights. You can hide crafting benches and pretty much anything else you want to be able to move around. Um, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so, whoops, there we go. So what you're going to do is, of course, find the area you want to build this in. This is good. Like there's our crusher. Um, so let's get it started. You're going to go here. You'll put a regular piston there. This will be your wall material, whatever your wall is built out of. And this will be the block you're looking to swap with. Okay? So you're going to go out one, two. You're going to go up, up. And this is just so you can get another piston one block away, like so. You can actually take those out. You don't need them. Uh, but you are going to need blocks underneath, so I'll just go ahead and do that. Whoop, put that right there. So there you go. That's your basic setup right there. And now you're going to want to get yourself a sticky piston. Whoops, too far back. Perfectly right there. Perfect. Okay. Uh, do I need that there? I can't remember. Yeah, I think I do. Uh, okay, so there you go. That's how your basic piston set up. Let's go ahead and get the redstone done. You're going to put a torch there and there. And you're going to put a block above them. And, doom. and then you're going to place redstone dust underneath. Boom, boom, boom. And redstone here and you don't actually need that and a repeater there going into it so this is going to be your actual input right here okay here's your wall so what you do is you go like so build your little wall up Whoop. all right okay so now you're coming along and you go hey uh want to get rid of the light there you go like I said, this will also work for crafting benches. You can put a crafting bench in there. Pretty cool. It'll move out like so. Um, this can be extended out. It's actually pretty easy to extend out. It's basically the exact same thing, except you just repeat over and over and over again. Uh, so, yeah, there's how you do the wall one. And uh, I'll go ahead and build an extended one. Let me tear this one down, and we'll start over. I'll be back in just a second. Alright guys, I'm back. Let's go ahead and get that one built. Now we're going to show you how to put in multiple ones, or I'm going to show you how to put in multiple ones. You can do up to 12 because of the length of the redstone will run. Um, and then you would just have to start the system over again and kind of link everything together. But, you know, y'all can figure that out yourself. So you go like that. And you're going to have another block. And that. And that. We'll just do, we'll go ahead and do like four or five just to make it neat looking. Uh, yeah, that should be plenty. And now, of course, you're going to want to go over from that one, too. Uh, let's do it like so. And throw yourself another regular piston in with one block space between it. Yep. Go and put the block underneath. There you go. Now, what you're going to want to make sure you do here is when you put in your sticky pistons, they need to be one block away from your regular pistons so they don't interfere with them. So basically, you know, before we put the torches down or anything, we can do that real easily. We're going to put that like so. No. Like so. And like this. And then sticky. Oh, come on now. Don't, don't be. Don't be stupid, Mr. Piston. There we go. Okay. So. Boom. Boom. Ah, get out of there. Wow. So you can actually, you know, if you know how to work pistons right, the block placement right, you just get in right up close to it. And, eh. And, eh. You can break that one. And then, eh. And, eh. You can break that one. Same thing. You're going to work your way all the way down the line until you get your last one. All right, so that's it right there. So now let's go ahead and run a little bit of the redstone. Drop. Put that there with a black on top. Whoops, that was a button. Block on top. Same thing down here. That with a block on top. And we're going to run a redstone underneath. Go ahead and do that from the back here. I know it's tedious, but hey, this stuff works really good. Now you're going to grab the signal from here. I have a feeling I may have done something wrong here. We're going to find out in a minute if I did. There, there, there. Up top, up top. Whoops. There we go. Repeater there. Dust, 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 and dust and dust. Okay. 
So, now let's go ahead and throw up our wall, make it look all nice and pretty like. So you can't see any of the, the inner workings back there. We're not going to go up, no big deal. Normally your wall, you know, you would just do, do, do it real quick. That's why you can't see any stuff. You come up to your standard old wall here and you go, huh, sure is dark. You got a button here, you go bam. Look at that. Turn the lights off. Now, like I said, remind, you know, you can put anything you want in here, guys. You can put, you know, you could put even redstone. Well, probably not redstone lights, but you can put workbenches in here. You know, you could go all lights and then have a workbench in the middle, however you want to do it. Okay, now let's go ahead and get started with one of the ceiling. I'll be back in one second. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm back again. <laughs> As you can see, I already built the ceiling when I thought I was recording. I wasn't, so let's go ahead and just duplicate what we did there right over here. So you're going to go up however high your ceiling is, of course. Uh, piston here, facing that way. Then you're going to put in your the block, ah, whatever the ceiling block is, along with the block you want swapped. Then you're going to have to put in another piston, exactly one away. There, boom, beautiful. Uh, you know what? We'll take that out just to make it a little less complicated. Okay. Uh, redstone gets ran just a little bit differently on this. Of course, it's in the ceiling, so it's going to have to be above it. So we're going to put that there and there. Break that. Whoops! I should have left that because we need to come over. Eh, 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 eh. Break that. Now we can break that. And the pistons actually, or the uh, torches actually go right above the piston this time. And we put dust here, here, and here. This is your input line on this one. And now our sticky piston, of course, as usual, has to be exactly one away from any piston. It can't be right beside the piston. So we're going to go up like so. The sticky piston needs to be facing down because we're going to want to push the block down. Whoops. There we go. And to get the signal over to the piston is pretty simple. Is that right there? Grab the signal off of that. Dust there, and a repeater. So, fill in this right here. Whoops. Fill in this right here. This is your ceiling. Let's see. Now that I've spun around in a big fat circle, let's see if I can remember. Input should be right here. Now, of course, you can redstone the input anywhere you want. It doesn't have to be in the ceiling. But just for tutorial purposes to make it nice and simple, that's where we're going to leave it. So you hit it, bam, got you the block. Instantaneous lighting. Like I said, you can put anything in there. I mean, if you want to make it to where you have, you know, a crafting bench in your ceiling, so be it. Your call. But that's it right there for the ceiling. Um, whoops. I'd already started building the floor one. You know, as a practice, that's what I do when I leave. I practice it one time just to make sure. Uh, to do the floor, you're going to have to go two down like so. Um, just give me one second. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. We are ready to do the actual floor. Now, of course, you're going to have to dig down into your floor, but just for this, I'm going to do this right here above us. Above ground, I'm not going to dig down into the ground and make it more complicated on myself. So it's kind of the same principle. You, as usual, you get started like so. Okay. And then go on, uh, uh, break that one, that one, put in your piston there. And of course, you don't have to use, you know, glowstone. You can use anything just like before. Uh, go there. Okay. That. Oh, I did that wrong, didn't I? Uh, give me the. I am having a complete brain fart here. Give me one second. Let's go ahead and put the sticky piston in right there. It has to be facing upward. Um, oh my gosh. Give me a second to play with this. I just lost my train of thought. Oh my goodness, I am back. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm just telling you guys it's almost exactly the same, and then I forgot. One very important thing. You do put the torches here and here. It doesn't matter which side you do them on. You put the block up here and here to bring the signal upward. Uh, sticky piss is already in. That's good. And we are going to come over here. And this is where you have to, on this side, 
Uh, it doesn't really matter which side. You're going to put dust there and a dust there. Whoop, dust there. You're going to dig down one. You're going to put a repeater facing outward towards that dust there and there. Another uh, dust here. And then just a block here. And the reason there's a block there, guys, because that is actually going to be your input right there. Um, of course, like with anything else, you can run it however you want. It does not matter. Um, and in order to get the signal from here to here, we're going to put ourselves a sticky piston or a, uh, that there, a repeater, then a block. Boom, there it goes up. So that is your actual floor right there. We'll build it up just a little bit to make it look all pretty. Oh, we should be able to do it from down here. Huh? There you go. Bam. Swap it back out. Guys, that is it. I mean, it's pretty simple. Um, to me, the floor one is probably the most complicated one you'll be building. Um, but, you know. Oops. Get back here. Uh, yeah. So that's it. Now, as you can see, there's plenty of stuff behind me. If you check out the channel, you will see how to build everything you see behind me on my channel. As usual, guys, please leave comments. Tell me what other kind of... Uh, tutorials you'd like to see subscribe to the channel leave a like tell your friends and of course god bless